Thread, unusually I'm going to be using the wine coloured thread here, just for the head area. It's an 8 -oh. What I'm going to do is start at the eye of the hook and I'm going to take it halfway down the shank. Now the hook is a Camasan B160 which is a wide gate short shank and this is a size 10. Now halfway down as I said and then bring the thread halfway back up. Now for the for the wing, this is some dyed mallard flank. I'm just gonna simply pull out some fibres either side and take them off. You only need a, an impressionable wing in this case. And then I'm gonna take out the tip so that I've got an even split of fibre either side. A couple of cut there, but don't worry about it. They'll disappear once they're tied in. Now what's, what I'm going to do here is, with the curve of the, the stem, just do a couple of turns, very loose, and then pull them in. Now you're looking for a length, a wing length, round about at least the length of the hook, or just slightly longer, so that you can see it. And then you just bring thread turns either side. Come in from the back and trim away. And you can tidy up. Now, what I'm going to do here is, once a bit of pink, just a bit of highlight at the back. This looks more white to you than now, but it has got a slight tinge of pink, and it's a CDC. Now, this is a domestic fibre or feather from a domestic bird. Uh, they're not as good as the wild, but they're ideal for this type of fly. Take away, or take off fibres from either side. Just tear them off, get them together, then hold them nice and tight, just tie them in at the back, just at the back of the wing there. So get three or four turns in first before you do anything. Drop my scissors yeah. Just come in and trim away. Now tidy up. Take the thread down. Now I've got a slight step there, but I'll compensate this slight step basically with other materials. So don't worry too much about it. A couple of fibres that you belong, just you can break these off. Now for the tail, this is bucktail. Now at the back of bucktail you get a nice dark runner. Natural, it's a brown coloured fibre. Now these are ideal for tails, especially in a lot of the Irish patterns. Just take a few out. This is dyed olive. Turn away. Take away the rubbish at the bottom. You could stack these if you want, but you don't really need to. Get the length, at least the length in a small piece, a small it's a length and a bit of the whole hook. Just tied over the back. A couple of turns to hold. Just look at the length. And then just come in. If you're not happy with the length, you can always just slightly pull it. Tighten back up. I say we compensate for this small step here by trimming the butt tail in that area. For the rib, I'm going to use a fine gold wire. Now at this point, tie the full length of the body and we take the thread up cover these materials and tidy it up and bring the thread back down now for the dubbing I'm using it's a light olive this is called finesse SLF finesse it's a very sparse dubbing now you could use rabbit if you want any of these this just happens to be the material used in the fly. Slide it up. And you want to get a grip, just like a turn or so, so the material gets a grip and then you can tighten it up. 
and then form the body. This is where if you had a light coloured thread it would be much easier. But they want the claret at the head so this is what you have to do. You could, I mean that's, sometimes I'll swap threads over but it's okay. Take away the excess and then bring your rib up through. Nice and tight. Cross your thread. Good. Three or four turns. Front and back. It's a wee bit long and springy. It's going to be in the way. So, just got to persevere with it. Bend and break the wire away. To double check it's tied in. Now, this is some orange plexi floss. This is going to lift, separate the fibres from under, underneath the fly. Just going to catch it on the thread and slide it up. Stretch it and get it so it's right underneath the body. And then trim away the excess. Just be careful with your thread. Now I'm going to form a nice dubbing loop, a small dubbing loop. Just simply by putting your finger and thumb your fingers into the thread forming a loop and then tying it tying it down and then take your thread up that's you ready so you're going to use a, this stubborn loop to hold the CDC fibre just going to put it on and then over the side of my vise now this is the CDC I'm going to form basically the legs and it's really part of the wing as well now we've got three feathers here all sitting on top of one another. Now you could use the bulldog type clips to hold this. But I just tear it off. I just from either side with these three feathers. Just turn it around. Bring the fibres 90 degrees from the stem, which is what you want to do. Now once you've taken it off and bring it together. You can line up the ends if you want. Just get the length in the dense fibre that you're looking for get your dubbing loop and then I used to slide it in spread it out now the length you're looking for around about a good inch and a half two inches to form the hackle on this fly using the CDC now what I do here is I trim away these curly ends now you need a good pair of scissors to do that Take away the fork. And then you want to spin. But at this point you could actually spread it a wee bit more if you want. And then spin your dub and taller. This is a Daryl Martin one, this is an old one that I've had for years. And then you just a couple of turns at the back, lift your wing. And then finish off at the front, just drawing back the fibres as you go. Get to this point, across your thread, two or three turns to make sure you've got it in. Any fibres going forward, draw them back with your finger and thumb and lock them away out of the way with the thread turns. Now you trim away your dubbing loop thread. Now best to actually get some velcro and bring the CDC up on top just watch your thread once you've done that just bring the flexi floss to the front just to check, see how it's sitting and it's ok come in, trim away the excess and then basically form your head, keep it nice and tight, and then come in with a finish. Now this fly is certainly for a light presentation. I reckon you'll only get a couple of fish and you'll have to change it and allow it to dry so you can fish it again. So I'd have like a good two or three of these flies in your box. And there you are.
It's one of the Irish CDC Mayfly patterns. And there is quite a few out there. All I've got to do now is come in with the varnish. Just be careful. All the way around. And there you go. Thank you. 